Did you know that whenever we speak about Eastern Europe, things typically turn conspiratorial? Well, it's possible that this could be a result of a certain Russian billionaire that we will discuss in today's video. Get your popcorn ready as we introduce you to the one and only Roman Abramovic, the Russian-Israeli billionaire whose name is currently in everybody's mouth. Today, we're going to discuss the 15 things you don't know about Roman Abramovic. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video for an extra bonus. But before we get started, if you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Luxury, like, comment, and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date to future videos. Now, let's get the party started. Roman Abramovic, who was born on October 24th, 1966, is best known for being the majority owner of Millhouse LLC, a company that owns a significant stake in oil, aluminum, paper processing, and electricity, as well as for owning the Chelsea Football Club. He is currently one of the richest and most influential individuals around the globe and is involved in numerous scandals. Here are 15 things you didn't know about him. Number 1. He was an orphan who left school at the age of 16. Having come from a Lithuanian Jewish family, the famous billionaire didn't always live a comfortable life. Roman suffered the unimaginable loss of both his mother Irina, Mikhailenko, and his father Arkadia Abramovic when he was only 4 years old. Young Roman was brought up by his family members and raised in the northern Russian region of the Komi Republic. Whether or not he was a rebel, Mr. Abramovic stopped going to school when he was 16 and began working as a street vendor, mechanic, and other jobs while studying engineering. He later went into business as the head of a company that produced plastic ducks and other toys, and these days, his toys are produced by wealth. Number 2. He had close connections with the Kremlin. To be clear, Abramovic is an oligarch. After the Soviet Union collapsed in 1990, he joined a select group of influential businessmen who were close to the Kremlin. It was them who supported Boris Yeltsin in 1996. The action was regarded as buying his election as president. Abramovic grew stronger and richer with the help of Berezovsky, the well-known businessman who ran Leda. Russia's state automobile manufacturer, Abramovic's connections to the network that controls Russia's monetary and political systems became so strong that he relocated his family to Kremlin. Number 3. He owned the Chelsea Football Club for 15 years. Abramovic bought the Chelsea Football Club from Ken Bates in 2003 and has since committed more than $1.3 billion. Substantial changes took place since the acquisition and the team has finally managed to establish itself as a household name. Abramovic used to attend every Chelsea game, showing noticeable feelings and participation throughout the matches, but this appears to have changed. He has reportedly become an intermittent visitor to the team after missing several crucial games in the previous year. For a while, it was believed that he was considered selling the club, but it was eventually discovered that his apparent absence was justified by the delay in approving his renewal application for an investor's visa. Number 4. He has a fleet of yachts. Roman Abramovic is without a doubt the world's biggest purchaser of luxury yachts. The billionaire operates a chain of yachts that have been dubbed Abramovic's Navy by the mainstream press, including Luna and the famous Eclipse, which is valued at $1.5 billion, 162 meters, the second largest personal yacht in the world. Abramovic is also an avid aviation aficionado and owns a personal Boeing 767-33AER. Hawaiian Airlines had originally ordered the plane but the deal was cancelled after Abramovic purchased it from Boeing and insisted that Andrew Winch modify it to his specifications. Number 5. His net worth is now at $11.6 billion according to Forbes. Roman Abramovic has stakes in steel giants, Evraz and Noril Snickel, in addition to having invested in football, private jets and yachts. In 2005, he made $13 billion from a selling a 73% stake in Sibnef, two state-owned gas titans. In 2015, 
he invested $30 million in an Israeli startup called OD Kobo, a music messenger. The fact that Abramovic decided to invest in BrainQ, an Israeli startup working to develop intelligence-powered innovation to treat neurodegenerative brain injuries, is even more intriguing. It appears that the man knows what to do with the absurd amount of revenue he has. Number 6. He owes millions to banks. If Mr. Abramovic has any unfinished business, just wait for it. It appears that he owes a Swiss bank at least $46,500,000. Legal proceedings have even been brought against him to recoup the debt. It appears that the debt stems from the insolvency of Abramovic's already defunct trading firm, which was once based in Switzerland. Abramovic is also involved in a case brought by the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, or EBRD, in a dispute involving himself, oil tycoon Eugene Shepler, and the Russian energy company Gazpromneft. The original debt was $17 million, but the successive interest made it amount to $46 million. Number 7. He might be involved in the 2018 World Cup corruption scandal. You read that right. According to the media and a 39-page report written by Mar Michael Garcia, a former chair of FIFA's Ethics Commission, Abramovic, who also owns the English football team Chelsea, may be involved in a corruption probe. It appears that for the preparatory work of an assessment, computers belonging to Roman Abramovic's football academy have been used. And this totally caught everyone off guard. The scandal started in 2015 when some FIFA functionaries were suspected of money laundering, embezzlement, and most importantly, the e-distribution of places for retaining World Cup championships in Russia in 2018 and Qatar in 2020. Number 8. His friendship with Trump might have earned him some new business. On January 24, 2017, President Donald Trump signed an executive order fast-tracking the authorization of the Keystone Pipeline. When the $12 billion job is executed, the pipeline will circumnavigate the distance of 3,461 kilometers and transfer crude oil from Alberta, Canada to the United States. Who better to act than Abramovic to set an example of goods relations between Russia and the United States? Abramovic's involvement in this is more significant than one might think given that he is a close friend of the Trump's family and one of the owners of the company that produced more than 40% of the steel used to construct the pipeline. President Obama had already stopped the project because it poses a significant threat to the environment and Native American rights. Number 9. Abramovic is Putin's closest confidant. One could argue that once you enter the Kremlin, you never leave. With his wealth and connections, Roman Abramovic supported Vladimir Putin's election as president of Russia. The two men met through Boris Yeltsin and Putin assisted Abramovic and a select group of other oligarchs in consolidating the country's aluminum industry. According to a news report who is also Putin biographer, Putin and Roman Abramovic have been supporting one another for the past 20 years, and their friendship appears to be strong since Mr. Abramovic gave the Russian president an astounding gift in the form of the Olympia Yacht, a boat that is more than $60 million in value. Number 10. His most expensive house is worth $500 million. I suppose we've understood by now that one can tell how wealthy an individual is by the property investment they own. And when it comes to Roman Abramovic, he likes to sleep in fashion. In 2011, he bought a home in West London's most affluent community, Kensington Palace Gardens also widely recognized as the billionaire's row. The mansion is worth $120 million and is presumed to have more than 15 bedrooms and vast gardens, and that's not even the most expensive home he owns. He purchased the L.A. Leopolda Villa on the French Riviera in 2008 to commemorate his then-upcoming marriage to Daria Zukova. Number 11. Abramovic spends $1.6 million on personal security. When you're as wealthy and powerful as Abramovic is, taking good care of your life and safety shouldn't come as a shock. However, it appears that Russian billionaire increased the safety of his staff to the point where he acquired a private militia. He has about 20 security officers in Britain, but overall, that number exceeds 40 worldwide.
The average annual cost of this form of protection goes up to $1.6 million. But hey, it's beneficial to understand you're one of the best protected billionaires in the world, huh? A significant number is intended to safeguard him for work on his yachts, trips to Russia, and stays in his international residences. Number 12. He's been married three times and has seven children. Roman Abramovic wed Olga Yurevna Lisova in 1987. They divorced in 1990 without having any children together. A year later, the oligarch wed Irina Malandina and they had five children together. Ilya, Arina, Sofia, Arkady, and Ani, and Anna. The civil partnership with Irina ended in March 2007 with an agreement of $300 million for spousal support. Abramovic wed Daria Zakova in a private ceremony in 2008. The couple has two children together, Aaron Alexander and Leia Liu. In August 2017, the couple made the conscious decision to split but added that they would continue to be great friends, parents, and partners in the projects they had created together such as the Garage Museum of Contemporary Art in Moscow and the New Holland Island Cultural Center in St. Petersburg. Number 13. He might not get his UK visa renewed. It seemed that even Roman Abramovic struggles to maintain cordial relationships with everyone. The owner of Chelsea Football Club, Roman Abramovic, may be required to divulge the origin of his immense wealth before getting his UK visa reissued. Abramovic's previous visa expired in April 2015 and as of 2018, his application is still being handled due to stringent rules and regulations. It appears that the unfortunate Salisbury poisoning accident also affected how the UK government is currently handling the issue of welcoming wealthy Russian investors. Number 14. He donated over $2.5 billion to charity so far. As per the media, Abramovic is not only frighteningly willing, but also kind-hearted. Between 2009 and 2013, he donated $2.5 billion to charitable institution more than any other Russian living. Additionally, the steel company Evras PLC, which is partially owned by Abramovic, contributed money totaling $164 million for philanthropic activities between 2010 and 2012. This money was used to invest in education, hospitals, and other infrastructural facilities in the autonomous Okrug Chokotka. Roman Abramovic also spent about $2 billion on the Pall of Hope, his own charitable organization that works with the Chokotkans. Number 15. He bought 20 Tesla cars to give to his friends. No matter how happy you end up making your friends, you won't be able to make them more joyful than Abramovic did when he purchased 20 Tesla electric cars with the express intent of giving them to friends and allies. This makes Abramovic the largest Russian purchaser of Tesla cars. We can only imagine the nature of verbal exchange between Abramovic and Elon Musk. At the time, Tesla cars were not yet readily accessible on the Russian market, so the man felt the need to delight his friends with a small gift. Of course, as a loyal friend, if you stuck with us through the end, you get a free extra fact. Number 16. Abramovic had Beyonce, Gwen Stefani, and Prince sing at his New Year's party in the Caribbean. Roman Abramovic is also known for his ability to party in style. In 2009, he decided to invite Beyonce, Gwen Stefani, and Prince to perform at his New Year's Eve party at his property on the Caribbean island of St. Barts. But it doesn't stop there. Two years later, in 2011, he paid the Red Hot Chili Peppers $6 million to play for him. The media reported that Toots and Maytals made a special appearance during the performance. In 2014, he invited Vladimir Putin and his close associates to a New Year's banquet in Moscow, where he recruited Robbie Williams to perform. Perhaps that event served as the inspiration for Williams' song about celebrating like a Russian. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to Ultima Luxury. Before you go, as always, we're curious. What would you do if you had Roman Abramovic's yacht fleet? Money and resources all to yourself. How would you spend your wealth? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. We appreciate your time. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Luxury. Like, 
comment, and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on future videos. We'll see you again soon.